is watching. We're always watching. We're always watching. You're always being watched. You're always being watched. You're always being watched. Guys, welcome to 31 Days of Horror. I am Morgan Film Fan. Let's jump into some scares. Possum is a film that came out in 2018. Now this is a British film, and this is a very independent film. It didn't get too much buzz um, worldwide, I would say, but in the horror community, it was definitely one that was mentioned a lot. And I went into this film expecting it to be extremely disturbing, and oh my goodness, was it ever. This is the most realistic display of child abuse and child molestation that I have probably ever seen. Trigger warnings for everybody listening to me say that. It's very dark and, sin and sinister in its atmosphere and pretty much every other aspect of the film. What we have going on here is we have this man who comes back to a home. He's carrying this kind of briefcase. He takes a train uh, somewhere. It's not really necessarily said where it takes place kind of thing, but he's coming back home and he comes to this man's house named Maurice. Our main character is named Philip and he's coming back home to what we presume is his father, but it ends up not being his father. It ends up, uh, as the film goes along, it ends up being his teacher. He seems to be drawn to this char character, Maurice. And um, as I said, at the beginning of the film, you presume that it's his father, but uh, they start communicating and then you're wondering what kind of relationship this is. And all the while he wants to get rid of this briefcase kind of thing. And inside this briefcase is this puppet. And this guy was a puppeteer. And uh, he just wants to get rid of this puppet. This puppet has these like legs to it. And the legs seem like they're made of wood, but they're also very dirty and gritty. And then this puppet has like eight legs, 10 legs kind of thing. And an almost human head. And I say almost because it's very, human-like. It's got the eyes, it's got the, you know, bald head, it's got the mouth, it's got the nose, it's got everything that's very humane, but it also is very creature-like, and it's one of the most creepy puppets I've ever seen in my life. And he wants to get rid of this thing, but every time he does, he puts it somewhere, and it'll always come back. It'll be hanging on his wall, it'll be under his bed kind of thing. He just can't get rid of this puppet in this bag kind of thing. This film is very metaphorical in that way, because we start to realize that he's... You know, the bag is starting to, like, represent his trauma kind of thing. By the end of the film, this Maurice guy ends up being his uncle, and everything just comes full circle with, like the legs of the puppet representing the fingers of the guy. And I don't want to get too much into spoilers, but um, this film is the biggest representation of, like I said, something meaning something else. And it's really, really well done. It's dark and grim. It's anxiety driven. Um, I went into this film just expecting a full-blown panic attack. And although I didn't necessarily have a panic attack watching the film, um, it felt like one in a sense. I had a really, really good time with this film and um, I had to give it five stars because of just what it was representing and what it said. It's one of those hard films to rate because my rating for it, because it was so well done, doesn't necessarily 
um, represent how much I enjoyed it, although I enjoyed it to a T. Um, but comparing this film to a film, for example, like uh, The Incredible Melting Man, which was just so much fun, this one is so much more serious. And I like it just as much, but it's just that totally different kind of experience kind of thing. And the performances in this film, too, between Philip and Maurice, Philip is just this such awkward guy in his facial expressions. He doesn't even have to say anything necessarily. Just the way he, like, looks and the way his eyes will move and his facial expressions is just... He seems like such a devastated man, which he is. And then Maurice being, you know, you're, you're wondering what's behind this guy, like... The way he also talks to Maurice, the way he, like his own facial expressions, you're just left in curiosity and wonder. Like, this film is highly disturbing, but I had a really good time with it. What does that say about my psyche, by the way? <laughs> um, I really liked it. Possum is fantastic. I'm glad I finally got down to it because this is a film that I've always heard talked about in the horror community, and um, I've wanted to watch it for a very long time, and... I finally got down to it for 31 Days of Horror, and I'm glad I did. Subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you'd like to listen to my voice or if you like my film reviews. I will be back soon, so stay tuned for those. Uh, check what's on the channel already. Stay tuned for what's coming. I know this was a shorter review, but um, usually when I enjoy a film, my reviews tend to be shorter because I'm like, I loved it, rather than explaining or trying to explain what I didn't like about my films. But uh, anyway... Stay tuned for next uh, 31 Days of Horror, and until next time, take care and cheers.